tell me your thoughts on if you think Fury is going to try and bully Usyk and how successful do you think that will be in the fight and how much do you think it will determine the outcome of the fight? An important question, a crucial key actually is can Fury bully Usyk to win? In the past, I did a Crucial Keys episode with Spence versus Crawford. Uh, and a crucial key in this fight, one of the biggest uh, crucial determining factors is the ability for Fury to bully Usyk. And when I talk about bullying, I don't mean beat him up on the inside, rather wear him down, weigh on him, push him, throw him around, make him uncomfortable, and ultimately make him a more stationary, gassed target, a slower, weaker target. If Fury tries to bully Usyk, how would it look? Um, one thing I was interested in is having to study how Fury turns a fight into an inside fight against an unwilling participant, but not just an un unwilling participant, particularly one that can move around. And this will be a first versus Usyk if he goes with that approach. So versus Waleen, one of the primary methods is kind of like a turtle approach. He has a cross guard over his body and he's trying to, he's, he's lowering that hand and he's tucking that chin and, it's, and he's, he's just trying to enter in the range. He's trying to, trying to put his head in his chest and he's trying to defend himself at the same time. And really he's pushing Waleen back. Then once he gets him against the ropes, he turns it into an inside fight, controls on the guard, pulling on the guard, opening up, uh, creating openings on the guard having him against the ropes in a disadvantageous position, using that, that pressure from his shoulders and his head to kind of uh, lock up the guard of Waleen to stop any offense. And then leaning on him, that that leaning and weighing. Now this is just one approach from Fury uh, versus Waleen. We'll look at some other approaches as well. Here, Fury is trying to bully the smaller man. Cunningham lets off offense and he kind of crashes in. So he, he kind of accidentally makes the inside fight with Fury. And then Fury begins to, you know, get a get around that guard, start start pulling, start manipulating, gets the overhooks. Overhooks are going to be really crucial for Fury. That's what he relies on because he wants to be over top, controlling the arms and over top, leaning his weight on you. And he's the taller fighter, obviously. So, of course, it's going to be easier for him to get the overhooks in the inside fight. And like I said earlier, Fury pushing back, pulling, making room. He kind of controls the dynamics there because he's going to be the bigger, stronger man. We'll see how Usyk deals with that. But Fury's going to be pushing him back to make room. He's going to be pulling him in to smother. He's going to be, you know, stepping in with that cross guard to kind of like catch a lot of shots. But again, I wanted to see how it looked when he was in there with an unwilling participant who could try and get out of the way of some shots. And you see Cunningham trying to avoid and Fury overextending. But Cunningham doesn't, he doesn't get out of dodge. He, he Fury misses and he has the opportunity to leave. He doesn't leave. And so Fury gets back on him, overhooks, controls, bullying, weighing on him. Just and that stuff wears you down over time. So one of the primary methods Chizora used to, to stop Usyk from getting away from the inside fight. So he would stop that lateral movement is turning punches into controls. So this hook kind of lands around the side of the body, maybe partially lands, whatever. But the important part is that he takes that that missed hook or that landed hook whatever and he turns it into a control where he gets a lock on that arm and he bars Usyk he stops Usyk from exiting to that to that right side or um Usyk's right Chizora's left or whatever and then Chizora's turning him into the free backhand that he has and Usyk is kind of being bullied around a little bit because Chizora is a big strong dude if it is true that Usyk bulked up in this fight this is probably an example of a reason why he would be doing that um, and, I, and I don't know because the way it's happening right now as I'm speaking. So we'll see if he got bigger as Chizora crashes in left arm goes around the backside like last time because Usyk likes to exit to his right because it's a, it's a better angle and Chizora is controlling any movement around that backside and and partially that right arm because he's pressed up against it. He's controlling all of that. And at the same time, his right arm is free and he's trying to land on Usyk. And then Usyk gets a little bit of leverage inside with his left arm to kind of like pull down and control the right arm. And then this is why I said he might want to bulk up or my, why he might have bulked up. He drives with the legs. He digs the shoulder and drives with the legs to, to try and push Chizora off, to try and push Chizora off. And he's trying to get that right shoulder free so he can get the left arm of Chizora off of controlling him. But Chizora is big and strong, so he still has that overhook. And now they're kind of in the center of the ring. So Usyk pushed out of that bad position. And then from here, I think Chizora is going to, they're going to like break away. And then on the break, Chizora is going to try and scoop in a body shot. So 
I was talking about damage. I don't think in the clinch there's going to be a lot of damage done, not direct damage. There will be indirect damage as far as like stamina, which makes it harder for you to react, makes it harder for you to move, move your head, all that, so on and so forth. But if there are damaging moments in and around the inside fights, it's either going to be to the entry, um, kind of like when the guards are shifting or on the exit. So once they break off. I think those are where the would be the moments where if either man, particularly Fury, is going to be doing damage on the inside, it's going to be in moments like those, kind of like what we just saw. Now, obviously, adjustments, adjustments. Both men are high level fighters, so they're going to be making adjustments. One of the adjustments Usyk made is knowing that Chizor was going to try and make an inside fight and knowing that Chizor wanted to control that right arm so much, he would glue that right arm to his body and he would still drive with the shoulder, but he would make sure that Chizor didn't have control of that right arm. So he had more, Chizor couldn't get leverage, he couldn't get control over much of Usyk's body because Usyk kind of created a wall with that shoulder where he could push off, kind of like chicken wing elbow, make room, make space, maybe try and hit him on the break. So he he is gonna have to work if he wants to get Fury off of him. If Fury does get on him, he's gonna have to push, make room, maybe slip his arms out. There's a couple of things he'd have to do, but he is gonna have to put in a lot of work to get Fury off of him. Because even those pushes, that does take some energy. It takes less energy than being moved around but it still takes energy again Usyk finds himself in a similar position they're on the inside fight right right arm glued to his body shoulder leading he gets down kind of like a offensive lineman he gets down and underneath he lifts pushes with the shoulder drives with the legs makes room he does get caught right there in or around the exit or the break of the inside fight like how i said that's gonna that's where a lot of the damage is gonna be done in those kind of like the entry or the exit of the inside fight but I think that's gonna be one of his primary strategies. He's gonna use his height to get leverage, to get down, drive with his legs, push Fury off of him. He's probably gonna to wanna to deny control of that right arm. So if Fury can control that right arm, he can kind of like whip him around and throw him around the ring and bully him. So I think that's probably how Fury's gonna, uh, not Fury, how Usyk is gonna try and deal with Fury. Fury's gonna do what he normally does weigh on you try and like bully you twist your arms around you know get get up on you just like land shots where you can so yeah that'll be interesting but simulation slash prediction coming very very soon within an hour or so so be on the lookout for that let's see what uh Usyk and fury weigh in at but but most importantly i forgot to say this at the beginning tell me your thoughts on if you think fury is going to try and bully Usyk and how successful do you think that will be in the fight and how much do you think it will determine the outcome of the fight and affect the outcome but yeah hit that like button subscribe notification bell you already know all the rest fight scientists i am out